how was sickle cell disease discovered? Well, it's been documented in African tribes for like the past 5,000 years, but only 100 years ago in about 1910 was it actually officially discovered. This patient went to a doctor and was um, complaining of fatigue and other symptoms of anemia, which is when you don't have a lot of red blood cells, so it's hard to get oxygen to the body. And the doctor did not have time to exactly deal with this, but it did not sound like anemia. It sounded a bit different. And the resident looked into it. He looked at his red blood cells. He looked at his cells on a microscope. And when he saw these red blood cells, he discovered that they looked like a sickle. And a sickle is an instrument. It's C-shaped and it was used to cut the grass back then, about 100 years ago, even longer than that. And so after further research, what he discovered is that cells that have lower levels of ox oxygen, so they don't have as much oxygen to carry throughout the body, and your body needs oxygen, um, they turn into this C-shape. And after all that they learned about sickle cell disease, they learned that it's most common found in African populations, people who are Hispanic American, people who are Indian and Mediterranean descent. In 1915, only five years after it was officially discovered, they started testing for sickle cell disease, the trait. And there's still a lot of research that needs to be done. So many scientists are still looking for ways to help fix and to cure sickle cell disease today.